How do you know which hotel to pick? I am going to show you how I go through the process of putting the information together to make a hotel reservation. I use Expedia to make an educated decision and pick the right hotel before we push that reserve button. Let's start with the first thing you see when looking for accommodations, the star rating. We are all familiar with the star rating system used for hotels, but what does it all mean? This is how Expedia translates their star system. One star is economy, no frills, accommodations. Two star, value, clean, basic. Three star, quality, style, comfort, personalized service. Four star, superior, upscale, high quality. And then we have five star, the finest hotels, luxury, superlative service, highest comfort standards. So the next thing we need to look at are customer reviews. It is important to know that Expedia has verified reviews, which means only guests who stayed can leave a review, unlike other sites such as Google and TripAdvisor, which have non-verified reviews, which means their stay is not necessarily confirmed. I would think that one would really rather look at and trust a review from someone who that actually stayed at the premises and can be verified. When you are looking at a review on a hotel, the first thing you see is a number that rates on a 0 to 5 basis. You are looking at the average grade from all reviews given on that property. Expedia also makes comments as to whether the rating is poor, good, very good, or excellent. Under this number is the amount of customers that filled out a review on this hotel. In order to dig deeper, click below the rating where it says See All Reviews. Now here you will see that the review is broken up into five criteria and the average rating for each. This will show where the hotel is excelling or is lacking. The five areas are cleanliness, staff and service, amenities, property conditions and facilities, and eco-friendliness. And then each category is then given a score. Then Expedia gives you a chance to look at each individual customer's rating and review. Not only what they rated the hotel, but also they are given the opportunity to share what they thought of their stay. Yes, this might be tedious, but this is a good way to see the good points and the bad. Let's look at one of these ratings. At the top, you will see the rating score they gave for their stay, the date of their stay, and then they have an opportunity to describe if they were traveling alone or with a partner or family. Then they are able to check off their likes and dislikes. Below that, you are able to read exactly what they thought of their stay. Finally, there is an area to read the response of the hotel management to the review. So you looked at the star rating and then the reviews. Now it's time to look at the amenities. When you are on the main reservation page for the hotel you are interested in, you will see the popular amenities. There are usually six of them there. Be sure to click where it says See All and a new little box will pop up showing all amenities. Then be sure to scroll down and see what this hotel has to offer as far as amenities. Now you're in the Choose Your Room section. This will list the types of rooms and the special amenities for each. So be sure to click on more details to see exactly what the room has to offer before making your choice. But before you hit that Reserve button, there's more information available for you. Go a little bit lower and you will find About the Area, which will show you what's nearby, restaurants, and getting around. Next, about this property. This gives you an overview of the property itself. Below that is cleaning and safety practices, where they discuss cleanliness and their cleaning practices. Below that is property amenities, where they give you an in-depth description of the property. And then even further down, we have room amenities, where they really get into the details about the rooms. 
So as you see, there's a lot more information on the website than we thought. So now we are ready to hit that reserve button. You have learned how to get all the information on how to pick your hotel. There's a link for Expedia in the description if you'd like to search for a hotel right now.